start fusion applications virtual machine and set up the environment so we have just completed the starting procedure for starting the idm server so now it's time to start the fusion applications virtual machine and associated servers so let's go back to the sequence so we have completed the sequence until this step and now we are at starting the fusion apps vm so let's start the fusion apps vm via the vm manager console and then we will log on to the instance remotely and set up the environment and then we will commence rest of the process of starting the databases and the associated servers all right so i'm going to minimize this and i will go into oracle vm manager console and now i will simply type the url which is vm manager 327.aclnz.com colon 7002 ovm console so that's the right one and now we will log in as admin and give the password hit the login button there you go and now to access the VM I will simply go to servers and VMs tab and then I'm gonna go and expand this one there you go so that's the VM we have and all I'm gonna do now is click on this one which is the VM and hit the start button so as you can see now the VM is up and running so what we will do is we will simply connect to the VM via a virtual utility which is called as VNC server okay so to do that we got to set up certain display settings so I need to first configure the display settings and start the VNC server in the VM itself and then we will access the VM via the VNC console fine so let's go to the remote utility and start the VNC server and set up the display environment so to do that I have to log in to the fusion apps VM now so I will first connect to that one there you go so I'm connected to the root and first thing I'm gonna do it is I will set the display and then I'm gonna start the VNC server okay so that's done and then I will also so that's the VNC viewer and here I'm giving the same IP address and the display parameters as I have set on the terminal and hit the connect button so by that it'll ask me the password and then I should be able to connect to the virtual machine for fusion applications fine so that's done now let's complete the rest of the procedure in terms of starting the database listener the databases and the rest of the server for fusion applications as a part of our sequence of steps